Hello, everybody. Once again, I am Robert, and this is Corvette World Dallas. And check this out. Absolutely fabulous, gorgeous, collectible C4. 1996 Grand Sport, to be specific. This beauty is one of only 1,000 made, one of only 190 that were convertibles, and one of only 61 with the suspension, the black interior setup. Yes, that is totally breaking down nerd style. Bottom line, very rare car. So the Grand Sport, of course, first debuted in 1963 as a handful of race cars, but its traditional stripes and the color scheme had been kind of you know, carried on. A lot of people liked it, seeing on the race cars and whatnot. Well, the C4 was coming to an end. The C5 was already coming out. The height was high. So they decided the ZR1 had already been discontinued. Let's send the C4 out, you know, with a big hoorah. And they decided to do it with the Grand Sport, bringing it back. The nameplate for the civilian world. They made a thousand of them. And they come exactly as you see here with the Admiral Blue metallic paint with the full length racing stripe. They came exclusively with the LT4 5.7 liter V8 with 330 horsepower. That's 30 over the standard LT1. They only came in a six speed manual and they all came standard with the ZR1 style wheels in black with the machined edge finish. This particular model also has a beautiful set of black painted calipers. It is a convertible. So as you can see, it does have the, the weatherproofing and the notches for the top. I'll show you that in a minute. Previous owner of this vehicle did a little few extras. He did add a very awesome set of Corsa exhausts. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a brief start up so you can hear this beautiful sounding car. Wasn't that amazing? Oh my God, it's so cool. So. All right, moving on. A couple of tidbits about the Grand Sport. It does, of course, have the Chrome Badge package that was unique to the Grand Sport. Of course, here, back in the C4 days, you had to do the fuel from the back top here instead of off to the side like the modern vets. Um, antenna was powered, goes up and down. Now, the the, the coupes did have a, a wider rear end setup. They had a fender flare piece that was added since they didn't do the wide, full internal wide body setup of the ZR1. They would just add fender flares. But for the convertibles, they decided not to do the fender flares, and they went with the standard tire widths, whereas they went with the full ZR1 315 rears for the coupes. Coming to the interior, obviously this is a 96, so it is the last year of the C4 interior, all the latest updates they did. A couple unique hiding spots for storage in this interior. For example, on the door panels, you've got storage here over the armrests. Come in. In 1994, they went to the two spoke over the four, four spoke steering wheel. So you had a uh, full uh, 9180 hand grips section. And of course, they would never, they wouldn't do another two spoke steering wheel till the 2020. All right, to the internal here. This is the FE1 suspension. So we don't have the select ride, but you do have power seats by selecting this from the passenger to the driver. And of course, you can adjust it. Had a manual backrest. And you can lift this up to gain access to any storage pieces you may want to put in the back over here. Now, the convertible top section, to gain it, there's a button right here. You lift this up, and there you go. You have access. Keep note of this. When you want to disengage the top, you pull this up, and this will loosen so you can undo the top. But it comes out like so, and of course, the top is white. And you, get, you see here, you got your speakers. And you also have a storage cubby located right there. And then the top, of course, loads back in like so. Hold it up and stow it. One last thing in the interior, as I mentioned, it does have the Tremec six-speed manual transmission. Obviously, an absolutely fabulous transmission. It's a respectably longer throw by today's standards, but it's still very, very engaging, very, very easy to use for any manual aficionado. AM, FM, CD, cassette player hype combo. Obviously, this is before heads-up display, so we don't have anything fancy like that. But let's come to the heart soul of the Grand Sport, which is, of course, the redhead motor, which is the LT4. Of course, everything learned from the LT1, updated and improved. 
Now, they officially rated these at 330 horsepower, and that was the official rating. However, dyno numbers of the Grand Sport and some of the uh, Camaro Z28 SS LT4s put it more actually closer to 360, 375 horsepower. Of course, that was for the time. The numbers definitely were way better than the standard LT1, slightly below the ZR1. Definitely, again, a very, 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 uh, shall we say, adequate powertrain. What a way to send out the C4, and not to mention good looking. I mean, it's just a gorgeous looking motor. When we took this car in, the uh, previous owner um, had uh, done some service work before selling it to us, including a brand new spanking set of Continental tires. So you've got brand new, brand spanking new Continentals all the way around. And of course, we went through it mechanically. She is sound, and what we can tell, everything works, including those fabulous flip over pop-up headlights. Absolutely gorgeous. As I mentioned, this is a rare bird, one of only 190, one of only 100, one of only 61 in this configuration. It only has 20,511 miles. We got it at 34,995. If you are interested in this absolute collectible, please see the info in the corner and down in the description below and reach out to me or Jim or any of the staff here if you're interested in purchasing this or any other Corvette in our inventory. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.